Discord hates him. This moron bypassed Discord's link warning system with this one simple trick. Now, if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, basically, when you click on an image on Discord and you click open in browser, Discord shows you this nice little warning telling you what website you're going to. If it's a sketchy and scam website, then you can easily tell. Well, what if you could just bypass all that with a very simple trick? Now, take a gander at this fine selection of Discord memes that I have on Discord. Middle click this GIF. Middle click this GIF if you play whatever. Middle click this middle click that. Now I'm gonna go to the Discord client and I'm gonna middle click on this GIF and I can't wait. <laughs> what, what is this? Hey, what's up guys? Just got back. Had to step away from the computer for a second. No big deal. Girls, feel free to hit me up. Anyways, let's look at the rest of these memes. <laughs> if I middle click on this GIF, it opens in a new tab and it takes me to a Discord invite link. This one here tells me to middle click to pet the cat. I think you can start understanding what's going on. What the? Oh no, please don't be. Oh, oh my god. All right, welcome back to Femboy Discord. So we have this next one here, which is an IP grabber. I don't think I can keep up the facade, but as you can see, when I middle click on this, it shows my IP, so I could be IP grabbed. And there's also this calculator one, which I'll save for a little bit because this one is special. But now, if it wasn't obvious, if I middle click on any one of these GIFs, it will automatically take me to a website. It bypassed Discord's link warning system. If I click open in browser, it'll show you the link censored so we don't nuke this guy whole entire website because you guys just want to click on it. Now, imagine having a fake Discord Nitro scam that tells me to middle click for free Nitro. Now, this looks really dumb and stupid, but to be honest, someone's going to fall for this. I have zero faith in humanity, and in fact, I have zero faith you're listening to me, so I'll put up subway servers in the corner so you can pay attention to this video. But if I was to middle click on this embed, it would take me to this Discord login page. Once again, subway servers in the corner is just going absolutely buck wild. And since I'm not paying attention at all, and I'm just looking at the subway server for footage, I decide to log in with my email, Bubboy Durfer, and I log into this website, which is actually a scam website if you didn't notice. Actually, you wouldn't even be able to tell because Discord didn't give you this specific pop-up saying, whoa, you're leaving Discord to go to this really sketchy link. This is actually a scam, by the way. Please don't put in your information on this website. Now, if you don't know, I'm extremely stupid, and I don't know how to explain this without giving you an example. So what you want to do is you want to get some sort of image that people on Discord would want to click on. So I have this one here, middle click for e-girl. For me, Personally, I think I'm more of this one here, middle click for more with a happy face. God damn, come back up, boy. So what you want to do is you want to click on your image and you want to right click and copy image address. And if you're in the Discord client, you can just right click on the image and click copy link. What you want to do is you want to go to your favorite website, grabify.link. Gets my seal of approval. And you want to paste in your little photo. You want to click on create URL. I agree with the terms of service. No one reads this crap. And if I scroll down, I now have my grabify link here. Now we don't even need to change the domain or anything, we can just click on copy. Then we can go back into our little Discord and we have our not sussy Grabify channel and I'm going to paste this link in. And this link is going to turn into an image. Watch this. Wow. It's almost as if I know what I'm doing. I don't. But our link got turned into an image because it got embedded into Discord. Now to explain what an embed is, I can actually easily explain it. Right now there are zero results, but if I refresh the page, and keep in mind, I haven't clicked on the IP grabbing link, but I have three IPs that I have grabbed already. What's going on? Now, whenever you post a link in Discord, Discord's little robots are scanning for two things. They're scanning for website information and they're scanning for images to try and embed to make your links look a little special. So these robots, they're looking for an image. They visit this website, so they go through Grabify, and when they go through Grabify, they end up on this page here. So they take this image and they go back to Discord and they replace your link with the image. And if you click on it and try to open the original, Discord will say, no, don't do it. You're going to Grabify. Don't click that visit site button god damn it don't you do it but instead of seeing that pop up if you press the middle click button you just get automatically sent through the grabify link to the website and once again this works both on browser and if i go back to my little discord app here not sussy grabify and i middle click on the image it instantly takes me to the website i just got my ip grabbed am i in big trouble actually no getting your ip grabbed is not a big deal chances are your ip changes all the time due to dynamic ips and ddos protection from internet service providers is a lot better than 10 years ago i'm nerding out right here just please forgive me. And the location of your IP either shows the big city you live in or it shows a neighboring city. So it really doesn't do a whole lot if you're trying
you're trying to figure out where someone lives so you can murder them in their sleep or try to give them a good night kiss. And really with this whole middle click thing, IP grabbing isn't dangerous. The dangerous stuff is visiting those malicious websites. And just remember, Discord's little bots went through Grabify, they got redirected to the image, and that's where they got the website image. However, with these little middle click, this gift stuff, this image is actually hosted on the website that you go to. So Discord's little bots will go to this website and they'll grab the GIF and they'll put it as their little image that you see. But when you actually go to this website, you get redirected. Oh God, not again. All right, guys, I'm feeling a little tired. I don't know why. Anyways, scrolling down, we'll have the... Uh... <laughs> I beat this joke to death. But finally, we have the middle click for calculator. And if I middle click and I go to the website, guess what? Open calculator. This website wants to open this application and I can open my calculator. Oh, hello, Mr. Calculator. <laughs> that was nowhere close to the meme I was trying to replicate. Hello, little stylus. Hello, Mario. But going to this website opened up my calculator. And this is called a URI, which means Uniform Resource Identifier. I didn't have to Google it. Don't worry. But basically, you can open up Microsoft apps using your browser. If you go to your your URL bar right now. Well, not this one. Open a new tab. I don't want you clicking off this video, goddammit. But type in calculator and colon and make sure it's not trying to do any no Google search. And if you go to this website, open calculator and it'll open up. And it doesn't just stop at calculator. In fact, you can do Bing Maps, my favorite mapping software of all time. It opens up and thank goodness it doesn't show where I live. And we also have Windows Defender. And if you open it up, you can open up Windows Security. And this has a lot of troll potential and someone please set this up because it was be hilarious. But I made a previous video where you can make images that pop up as viruses with your Windows Defender. And you could have one of these GIFs that say virus detected middle click bruv. That's just a mix of all types of illiteracy on this planet, including being British. But you tell people to middle click on this image and it will open up a website that will tell you to open up your Windows security. And now they really do think they have a virus and you're in their computer. Man, with my videos, I try making Discord better, but then I give people ideas like this. It just makes the whole platform work. What am I doing? So everything relies on this sacred middle click. Kind of seems bad. Why does Discord even have middle click? Middle clicking is actually super useful for a lot of stuff. If you go to your Discord client and you just middle click on a channel, it will open up that channel in your web browser. But what you can also do is that when you're on the internet, you can just middle click a link and it will open it in a new tab. That's a free tech tip for you. And there are people that actually do like this functionality. At one point, there was a bug where middle clicking didn't work and someone was upset. I'm used to doing this with pictures on impulse since it's quicker and and more convenient. This is perfect for power users. Oh wait, hold on a second. We're talking about Discord. That doesn't exist. Discord is the company that changed their whole entire username system because remembering four numbers was just too goddamn difficult. Now, jokes aside, there are three things that Discord might do. The first thing that Discord could do, and they're very good at this, is do nothing. So that means that power users will still stay happy, scammers will still stay happy, but you will need to remember that middle clicking will bypass this whole entire link pop-up, and you need to tell people, hint, hint, you could share my video. I'd love you forever. But the second thing that could happen is that Discord removes the middle clicking feature. Click, click, nothing's happening. Oh, I don't need to worry about visiting the hub anymore. But for people that like using the middle click like me, I just realized how useful it is today, I'll probably be crying myself to sleep tonight. But that's where I hit you with number 15, Burger King number three. The most likely option is that when you middle click on an image, Discord will show you this little pop-up just like normal, which would be a good compromise, but those power users will be slowed down just a little bit. However, they can always just trust the website from here on out and they don't have to worry about it anymore. And that would be extremely helpful for very common domains on Discord like Tenor, for example. But that's just my dumb opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. I can't read those, so make it in like simple caveman talk, please. Okay, just really simple. All right. I love you. Mwah.